Oh man, he can't fight news. Amir Khan is sending warning messages to everyone in the welterweight division. King Kong is coming. Amir King Khan saying, you know what? I was beating Canelo Alvarez. I was up on the cards. You know, damn right, I can take over the welterweight division at a moment's notice. This is what Amir Khan had to say. I'm inspired. I'm motivated to come up there and clean up the entire 147-pound division. He likes the Keith Thurman fight. He wants Keith Thurman in the ring. Man, Amir Khan... He needs to figure out who he's gonna fight next. I mean, I mean, he can talk about all these big names. He can talk about Errol Spence. He can talk about Danny Garcia. He can talk about Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. But we know he ain't fighting these guys in the near future. Amir Khan needs to set up at least one or two fights before he jumps in there with the with the real dogs. Those are the real dogs. Those are the killers. Those are the top tier welterweights in the division. And Amir Khan hasn't been a top tier welterweight in years he damn near been avoiding Kel Brook who, who ain't even up there anymore Kel Brook he ain't a top five welterweight anymore it just that's, he just isn't you know he's up in uh super welterweight division right now he's looking to fight um he's probably looking to fight uh that dude who uh, lost to Canelo Liam Smith he'll probably fight Liam Smith Liam Smith coming off a win versus uh, that dude. Actually, I don't know who he. I don't, I don't know who he beat, but he, he's coming off a win. <laughs> so Amir Khan needs to. He needs to find an opponent. And if I were Amir Khan, I would set that fight up in the UK. You know, that's that's where the money is in boxing right now. Set that fight up in the UK. Look for you know a scrub, a bum. Get your, get your, get back into shape, get your speed back, get your coordination back, and he needs to fight, um, maybe a Bradley Skeet, maybe he's got to fight Bradley Skeet, who knows, but he's got to fight someone that, uh, will test him, and, but, but won't knock him out, you know, the last thing, <laughs> last thing you want to see is another Amir Khan versus, uh, Breeders Prescott, it's a one round demolition, and, Yo, if, if, if he ran into a guy like that, man, it would be time to retire. It would be time to retire. Amir Khan has one shot left in boxing. And, and warning guys like like Danny Garcia and and Keith Thurman, as much as that could, could you know, get, get some buzz back into the Amir Khan brand, it's, it's not a great look, man. Because right now, to be honest... He's been the laughing stock of the welterweight division for quite some time, you know. When people think of Mir Khan, they think about him getting knocked, knocked, knocked smooth out, man. They, they think about that Canelo fight, one shot, you know, no, no consciousness. <laughs> man, Amir Khan, man, Amir Khan, man, he, he really like. There's so many mistakes in his whole career. Where really he should he should already be in the welterweight mix by now, he shouldn't have taken a damn near a year and a half off after this Canelo fight. Why why take a year off? He could have easily been fighting some uh, some dudes out here in the UK. Uh, he could have been fighting on the Kell Brook cards. He could have been fighting on uh, uh, Anthony Joshua's undercards. Man, he could have been fighting. Uh, I'm sure Eddie Hearn will put him up there, but. It's about it's about taking a fight and it's about being prepared and being in shape. And the other thing with Amir Khan is every time Ramadan rolls around, he can't fight. He says he can't fight. How are you gonna take take over the welterweight division if you can't fight uh, when Ramadan's coming up? You know. And we've heard that we've heard that excuse. We've heard that excuse. So Amir Khan, he needs end of the day, he needs to get his shit together. Uh, if he wants to fight Keith Thurman. Keep calling him out. Be serious and tell Al Heyman you want the fight. You know? and Because and, you, you never know when an offer might come up. Keith Thurman might, might want a soft touch. And Al Heyman might give him that offer ASAP. You know? Or he might give him to Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia would love. I'm sure he'd love 
to have Amir Khan, another knockout of Amir Khan. I'm sure he'd love to have that. Your boy Amir Khan talking shit, man. Amir Khan's back. Amir Khan is back in the division. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, he can set up a fight ASAP, maybe against uh, this Victor Ortiz kid. Maybe Amir Khan Victor Ortiz would be a good fight. Victor Ortiz supposedly is fighting, uh, who's he fighting? He's fighting uh, Alexander? Is he fighting Devin Alexander? I think so. That's going to be interesting. I think that's the fight that's going to happen. So uh, we'll see what's next for Amir Khan. Uh, it seems like he wants Keith Thurman in the ring, but Keith Thurman got to deal with Jesse Vargas. Thurman got to deal with Jesse Vargas, who at this stage of his career is a much more accomplished fighter than Amir Khan right now. I'm, I'm talking about right now. You know, he actually got the fight with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, went 12 rounds, got beat, but uh, he's definitely the fresher fighter at this stage compared to Amir Khan uh, coming off a reality show. So we're going to see how Keith Thurman looks uh, in that fight. And to be honest, Amir Khan shouldn't be calling out Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman would knock Amir Khan smooth out. He would knock him out so cold and so smooth it wouldn't be funny, man. Amir Khan should not be, you know, um, Keith Thurman is a power puncher. Amir Khan does not do well against power punchers. He should be fighting uh, anyone that likes to fight at range and doesn't pack a lot of power. That's Amir Khan's uh, best uh, uh, matchup. That's his best matchup. In fact, who's a guy Amir Khan can beat right now? You know what? I think the guy for Amir Khan to try and face is Kel Brook. Kel Brook is the guy. He's he's coming off of uh, two back-to-back -back losses against Gennady Golovkin and Earl Spence. Kel Brook looking for a tune-up. Kel Brook should be Amir Khan's top priority. He sh that sh that should be the fight. Kel Brook is vulnerable. Uh, it's it's a built-in. Uh, it's already marketed as. Uh, you know, battle of uh, two of the UK's best welterweights. I think that's the fight Amir Khan should be looking at. Let me know what you guys think. E King Fight News. Smash the like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel. You know what it is.